document management is, is, is a little bit different because the, the goal of document management is this is really the, the outline that I gave you right now is to deal with collections, anything that we receive collections for, the financial applications. The document manager is a little bit different in the sense that it's looking to integrate all of our paper records and making uh, ability to recover and find those records and automating all of our processes, which is the goal of something that I want to see us do is automate all of our processes throughout the organization. And this will get us how far? Uh, the document management, mm -hmm. $120,000 gets us to phase one. Of how many phases? Uh, three phases. Three phases. Yeah. three phases in total. First phase is the town administrator, human resources, the town clerk, uh, park and recreation departments and IT. So those are that's the initial phase that we want to get up and running is those departments. In each phase, one hundred twenty thousand. No, Sean, it's, it's not exactly. It's it's, it's not that um, straight of a line because what we're doing is we're looking to start off small, and um, oops, we would start off small so that there would be fewer departments in on the initial phase, and more departments as we would go along with the first phase. The, um, the upper limit range is $120,000. That includes everything. Phase two would be between $110,000 and $150,000. And phase three would be sixty-five dollars to $85,000. What we've got is a majority of our departments coming in on phase two and phase three. But again, a lot of the one-time costs are up front in getting this program up and running. Does that include training? It does, yeah. I'm looking at the... Uh, and support for how long? Um, training is uh, is included, and the annual cost going forward would be, give me a second. Uh, about $2,800 a year going forward in terms of training programs. So say $3,000 a year with ongoing training is what we would budget on an annual basis. No, I'm talking about maintenance. Uh, maintenance would be, um, by the time we get to maintenance in phase one, would be um, $10,650. Phase two, that would jump to $15,500. And then totally when we're done with the project in its entirety, it would be about $18,000 a year on an ongoing basis. So we don't pay for maintenance in the first year, right? I, mean, I would normally you don't do that. Right, so you'd be looking for an appropriation for maintenance in the right. next fiscal year, not, right. not the fiscal year upcoming. Understood. What we're anticipating is once the project is fully built out that the annual maintenance cost will be about $18,000 a year above. And, and so you, you did your research and you came up, I know you presented us one system, but I assume you, you researched several. Um, what we did was we had a need study done and the NEED study identified um, an appropriate solution to the, to the parameters that we set forth, which was not only for um, document management, which was to automate our workflows and processes. So there are very few options that once you start to get into that, everyone offers some type of digital document scanning, but what we really wanted to do was have automation of our processes. So um, we've identified a vendor. We still need to go out and seek proposals and put this out to a competitive bid process. It's, so, it's so costly that we don't have a choice. So the 120000 is based on uh, just estimates that you receive from this one document management company? Yeah, um, we, we actually um, required as part of our bid proposal or our, our project to, for them to put together a detailed cost recommendation. And there is a copy of it if you check in Dropbox. Yeah, That's so the that. project budget. And um, we've asked them to come back with what they consider to be a very accurate estimate to run this program. Keep in mind what we're looking to do is um, use their forms, um, the agenda system. We want to um, use their um, municipal licensing, uh, municipal permit granting program, and we wish to go forward with uh, with something called Magna Mail, which is to to take all of our email system, which is um, hosted outside, and bring it all in in its entirety. Um, one of the major components of the of the budget is uh, of the hundred and twenty thousand that I mentioned in the first year 
is it includes an amount of money to have a consultant help us with building all of these forms and automation of all of our processes. So what we don't want is we, want to, we don't want to purchase a package and, um, you know, I don't want to use Munis as an example, but someone drop it on the table and say that you're on your own. What we need to do is we need to have a consultant who's going to work with us um, to build up all of our workflows, develop e-forms, uh, really develop pathways to make this whole thing work and processes to make this whole thing work. And so what we've done is we budgeted an amount. Initially, we're very high on that between thirty and forty thousand dollars in the first year just for consulting services to help us build up this this documentation process great uh, you know, it comes to mind is in the process of putting this in is hardware included that's necessary um, we the analysis did include a review of, um, of hardware mm -hmm. and did make recommendations to us and in speaking with IT we would need to purchase some scanning stations, but the the hardware that we have presently in place with the service is suitably suitably for our needs. And what about backup? Um, just give me a second. Uh, backups. It's addressed in here. It's noted that the town um, does not use virtual servers at this time. Um, you can virtualize your service prior to this implementation. It goes on and it talks about backups and security of physical servers. It talks about uh, um, it will need to be backed up regularly and back so stored safely and securely off-site. Um, just going through here, um, I'd have to do some more research on that, sir. I honestly, I I'm not prepared to answer a technical question about backup tonight. Okay. I, I think I have a concern because I know how we're backing up. And. The way we're backing up is we've gone from tape backup, which is not very efficient and doesn't uh, allow for the storage of a lot of data based on the system that we have in-house, to using the backup software to back up to USB drives, and then I think Gene transports USB drive, I don't know whether he does it nightly or weekly, off-site. Don't know. And I think that you know, we're making an investment to put all our documentation in an electronic system. I think we have to consider moving forward with a uh, backup that uh, is more robust, requires little human intervention, and automatically, in addition to having backup in house, has backup off site. And there are a number of companies that provide this kind of service. So I think that that needs to be looked at, regardless of whether we're going, we're going to go we agree. with this or not. We agree. We agree. What are the questions you have on this, sir? So where are we proposing? Uh, first of all, under which article are we proposing this? I'm suggesting that we appropriate $120,000 under the capital, that we pay for it with free cash. It's Article 9, sir.
Is that the only item on here now? No. There's uh, purchase of vehicles for the water department at $82,000. And there's also uh, funding to do a water master plan. Both of those are included okay, in the capital plan. Really discuss that. And the digital management is 120. Is that, that hasn't changed from what's no. printed in the warrant? No, that number is exactly the same. It's not going to go any higher than that at this point. It's a lot of money. Okay. That doesn't include the, the backup system. No, the backup. It, there's a monthly charge of several hundred dollars. Several hundred dollars. So if you use something like EMC, they're a better off-site backup system. Does that, is that something you were referring to? Yeah, I, you know, there's, my company uh, uses uh, for our customers, uh, we host it through what, what's called Continuum Knock. Basically, you put a server in a monthly fee. It does incremental backups every 15 minutes. Oh, very then, familiar with it. And then it ships off site every night yeah. a, the day's backup. Just to, I mean, I haven't so been involved you, you in a pay long for time. it on the basis of the uh, size of the backup you need and then for the size of whatever you decided to store off site. So annually? And there were, a, there's got to be a dozen companies yeah. that do that. So yeah. annually, roughly, what do you think it would be? Uh, I don't know the full size of how much data we currently yeah. have and how much. It's going to grow. Need that. It's going to grow. grow. <laughs> it's going to grow. And then yeah. how many servers? Because you basically have to put agents on the service for the backup device to talk yeah. to them and pull the data out. So. It would take a little bit of, yeah. It's, st it's of still something that should be. together would be pretty easy. Yeah, it still should be something that we should be. Yeah. But it's something that has to, be done. has to be done. Yeah. Sure. Mr. Delaney, I think, had a comment. Mr. Mr. Delaney, Delaney sorry. Uh, my perspective is this. I don't think we've invested enough money in training in Munis to get our employees up to speed with Munis. Obviously, it's going to cost us a, a lot of money to complete the implementation of it. I'd rather see us invest the money there versus starting a new, I know it's a completely different system, document management, but I know we've had a microfiche machine that sat in a box for probably six years and we did nothing with. Um, it's a lot of money. I'd rather see us complete that Munis project. I think that's, at this stage, much more important to what we do here than this document management. Um, and I, I don't think we've done justice for our employees provide the training to get them comfortable with uh, that new system. That's where I would rather see us invest our dollars at this point. Anyone else? I have to say I'm really struggling with it. I mean, I, I went through a lot of that stuff you, you provided mm -hmm. us earlier, Greg, and I did go onto the website of the document management company. Um, and it really does sound wonderful, and I, I, I know it would be a wonderful tool for you to have and your staff to have, but I, I do tend to feel a little bit more like Mr. Delaney's. I'm also struggling with the fact that we've got Munis, a huge investment in it. In how many years now have we had Munis up and running? Four. Four years. Um, Three. So when, you, when the town initially made the investment in Munis, did you have a plan in sort of a roll-up plan when you thought it would be all wrapped up and fully functional? The town, the town understood that when it came into Munis that there was a phase that's remaining, the final phase, dealing with treasury and collection and our utility functions that needed to be done. So we knew that in that regard there were at least two phases. To the so did you have an estimated date then when you initially put this in place, what you were shooting for to try to have it all wrapped up? No, I don't think there was a specific date in terms of when the town would complete the the Munis project. Remember, it had to wait until we hired a new finance director. In reality, we probably should have been up and running with the final phase right now, but with the transition to a new finance director, um, that got delayed. So, I mean, just from that explanation alone, kind of supports a little bit more, I think, what Mr. Delaney is saying. I think we should make the investment and move it up into the priority and then swing this document management thing. Maybe in October, we should try to readdress it then. To try to get this, unless I, mean, that's I, I, I just I, I don't 